Hey, how's it going, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a by string array into an image. All right, so for uh, this exercise, I'll be using some of the image from this website, iconfinder.com. And it's also one of my favorite websites to purchase icons, or if you are looking for free icons, then this is a pretty good website to use. All right, now let me choose an icon. So I'll use this uh, castle icon. So I'm going to click on this icon and find uh, the image format. You can choose if you want the image to be PNG file or SVG. So this is a new format that a lot of websites are using these days. And if we go to other formats, then we have an uh, icon format as well. I'm going to choose PNG. I'm going to select 512 pixels, uh, that's the size. And below that, you can click on copy base 64 PNG. And that'll display a window with the, uh, just the byte string itself. So looking at the strings, we don't need uh, these uh, metadata. All we need is the, uh, the string. So from letter I all the way to the end. I'm going to select the string that I want to copy and paste. I'm going to copy into another Python file. So this is going to be the file that I'm going to store the byte strings. I'm going to wrap the text. I'm going to select the uh, strings that I want to replace and paste the new string. And I need to convert this to a string, uh, to a byte string actually. Right, so that's it. Let's take a look. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. Now let me go back to demo.py. So to convert the byte string into an image, I'll be using the pillow library. Here I'm going to import the pillow library. So from uh, import pil.image, I want to name this as image. And if you don't have the library installed, you can use the command pip install uh, pillow. I also need to import other libraries, such as IO library, base64 library, and from byte array file, I want to uh, import the uh, object that stores the byte data. And the object is called by data. So I'm going to copy uh, paste the name. So here the first thing I need to do is I need to decode the uh, by string. So I'm going to insert the base64 library dot b64 decode. And it's the method that I'll be using to uh, convert the uh, by string. I'm going to insert the by data variable. And I'll store the output uh, letter B. Now, if I print the B object, oh, here I forgot to activate my environment. Now, if I run the script, the B64 decode method or function will uh, convert the uh, this string into this byte string format. And once we have the byte string in a proper format. So here I can take the uh, image class that open and using the uh, IO module that bytes IO, I can insert the byte string and I'll save the output as IMG. So this is going to be the uh, pillow image option. And if I type IMG.show and that will display the uh, image based on the uh, this uh, byte string. Now we have the image retrieve, so we can basically do anything we want with the image object. So here what I can do is I can save uh, the image. So I can use the save method. And I'll name the image uh, mycastle.png. We can also print the image information, such as the image size, image height, width, format. In mode. So if I run this again, my print statements is going to return all the uh, relevant information based on this image object. Now going back to my folder, here's the PNG file that I just saved, and here's my castle image. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.